Robert Johnson here. Marcus Robert Johnson here. Today, tonight, right now, I want to talk about street fighting. Not even really street fighting. More importantly, I want to talk about that dumb knockout game. Maybe it slowed down a little bit, but I know I know people are still playing that, man. Especially people in the hood or kids, ignorant people. Um, as a as a boxer, as someone that's practices fighting often, I would say you're going to get nothing out there in that street. There's nothing out there for you. There's different reasons why people fight in the street, in school, in the mall, post office, laundromat, McDonald's, wherever. It's different reasons. Now, something that you can't stop ever, people get in disagreements with each other. People hate each other. People don't like each other. Someone looked at you funny. Someone said something. I honestly don't think you should fight any time. If, you, if your solution for your problem is fighting, then I think, I think you have a bigger problem than whatever it is at the moment. You, cause it's not that serious. The thing is, throughout history, we've learned it's very easy to hurt people. People are fragile. It doesn't matter how tough or how strong you are. The same thing that happens to Brock Lesnar, Rampage Jackson, Mike Tyson, uh, Undertaker, any of these big dudes, Palomalu, the same. Now, their resistance is different for something. But what I'm saying is they're just as fragile. They can get stabbed like you can. They can fall and hit their head on the ground like you can. And honestly, Street Fight's the, the most, I'd say the most reason people getting killed or hurt severely is because, not because they're getting beat up so bad, but you hit a guy or you push a guy or a woman or whatever, and then they fall and hit their head right on the concrete. I wish I had something. This is going to... Right on the concrete. And then they die from that. Or they get hurt from that. But this is a lot of stuff. But what I'm going to say is that you don't... People being upset and extremely... Up Angry and the spur of the moment is not something we will ever really get out of humanity. Something will ever really change about people. So, to make this a shorter video, I'm going to say, think things through. Before you fight that person that bumped you into you, before you punch the person or kick the person that stepped on your shoes or... You couldn't hear what they said, and now you just assume they called you a bitch or just dumb or something. Before you fight them, take a big deep breath. Think about your mom or your dad or kids, friends, people you want to see. Just think, think, just think, period. Because the reason we attack other people when they do those dumb things is because we're not thinking. We're more worried about our pride in the moment than we are of our the scope of our life or the scope of... Maybe even the week, maybe even the day. You might have a great day, but now you're kind of already in a bad mood or come from a weird state of mind. So now you, a lot of people feel like they had, I used to, I was a kid like that. I had to fight everybody that said something to me or I had to fight everybody that bumped into me. And that's a child's way, that's a child's, that's a teenager's way of thinking. Well, most of us grow up out of that. A lot of us don't. I mean, not a lot, but some people don't, but most of us grow up out of that, where we're like mad over petty things. Things that in 20 years, 10 years, one year, you're not even going to remember. You know, can't remember. I don't remember half the people I fought. Even in the ring, I don't remember half those guys. I remember the good ones. <laughs> but uh, my biggest point, my, the biggest thing I want to address is this stupid knockout game. If you don't know what the knockout game is... You know, people would say it's gang initiations. Maybe that's true. Maybe there's gangs doing that. I'm sure there are. There are gangs doing that. But that's not overall what it is. What it really is is cliques and people walking through the hood or through the streets, whatever, 
You got bored individuals, mostly kids, teens, or young adults, and it's really sad. You go to Shy Town, you might see some 30, 40, 40 year olds playing this stupid game because they so warped. But young people, they're chilling with their friends, and the reason most people get in trouble or find bullshit to do anyway is because they're bored. They have nothing to do, or they don't have money to go do things. That's why poor people do a lot of the crimes they do, or a lot of uneducated do people do the things they do. They don't have nothing. Even even very wealthy kids are bored. They have can't play video games all day. Some kids can, but most of us can't. Can't do things every day all day. You get bored, and then that's when you start going through your parents' stuff, or you find something you shouldn't have found, or say something you shouldn't have said, or discover a website you know because you're mind is idle and you're blah, whatever maybe idle isn't the right word but point is people are so bored and they're so dumb yeah i'm calling you dumb i want to cuss you out and everything because i think you're stupid if you play that knocker game you're just stupid i don't care if i know you personally if you're a friend of my family or what you can you can kill somebody doing that stupid shit you think it makes you tough and it doesn't because, oh yeah, let me explain what the knockout game is for people that don't know. So, these people are bored, whatever. All the knockout game is, you're with your homies, and you bet that you can knock them out. That's all it is. Y'all pick a person out. I bet you I can knock him out. Or I bet you you can't knock him out. You get one punch, you knock him out, or you don't. If you don't, maybe your friends will help you. If you don't, you probably just run or hit them and run. Coward. Or maybe you just... Maybe you do. Maybe you hit them and then you keep in them or whatever. But that's all the knockout game is. Can you knock them out with one punch? Can you beat up this person you see them in the street? And that's so stupid, man. It's so stupid. It makes me so mad. <laughs> it makes me so mad. And the uh, thing is, because, like, I've done these things as a teenager, man. And, like, it's... After you do it, yeah, it's the rush, right? You feel good. It's like you're watching a movie. It's intense. It's intense. It's built up. Ah, they get that same rush, man, from doing that. They talk. Then they talk to shit. Yeah, man, he wasn't nothing. He was nothing, man. It was easy. That dude can't. They don't want to do one nothing, man. I knocked his ass out. He want nothing. He don't do weak. That boy. You hit a dude from behind. Watch my video on how to knock somebody out. You think it's so tough? What the heck was that? Don't know. But... It, anybody can knock out anybody from behind when they're not expecting it. You get nothing from it. Literally. You're not winning money unless you're just flat out robbing the person. You shouldn't do that. Why are you robbing people? You don't want to do things the right way. I know not, some of us don't got a choice, but I'm not talking about that person that maybe is like, Stealing groceries from the store or something. I'm not talking about them as people. I'm not talking about people that are like stealing clothes because they don't have any. I'm talking about people that are stealing for the enjoyment of stealing. I'm talking about people that are stealing or beating people up. Either for the enjoyment of it. Or just because it. That's really. What else was there? I don't know why else you're doing it. You know maybe you feel like there's no way. And a lot of times there is. There's harder ways that take a little longer than doing crime or hurting people, but there's ways to get things done without having to go to the extreme measures of savage people. Caveman. Don't be a caveman, bro. Or sis. Why you want to be a caveman? You want to beat people up? You want to do what they're doing 50, 60, 100, 20, 200,000 years ago? You want to do all that crap, man? Moving forward. We're moving forward. <clears throat> We're moving forward. Okay. March. Now, again, back to this knockout game. It's so stupid, man. Because it means nothing. You're really you're hyping up with your friends in your own small circle. Hey, I knocked them out. I knocked them out. Little Tyrone knocked, knocked out. Tyrone knocked everybody out. Tyrone knocked everybody out, bro. Everybody, Tyrone knocked everybody out, bro. He can't nobody take it. Tyrone's hitting people from behind. He's a punk, man. What do you want to do, man? If, he's, if you're really a man, you really want to, you want to be a gladiator, you want to be a warrior, there's a place where you can do it. I say that all the time. Lots of places. Most cities. Our city is a little harder. You can't, in Madison, you really going to have a harder time finding a gym. You can just walk in. You go to a big city now or something, you find that gym. You just walk in there and spar. Just walk in there and find it. I'll help you get registered. I will. 
Oh, if you're a, you think you're a tough guy, bro, I will get you. I'll pay your membership. I'll pay it all. If four of them won't let me do it and I'm gonna talk to them, I will. Oh, I hate that, man. I just hate that. I hate that. Because if you really want to fight, if you really want to prove how tough you are, if you really want to prove you the man for knocking cats out, you really want to prove you got the hands, you really want to prove you're the, you, you're the shit, right? There's a place where you can prove it. Because it's you can't prove it in the streets. You can't. You cannot. You can try. You might impress your small circle of friends, your four or five homies. You might impress them. You can't take it nowhere and it won't mean nothing. No one respects that. No one respects fighting people that don't want to fight. There's a, that's a bully, essentially. You might not see it as a bully. You're just, you're just a punk, man. You're just picking on kids that can't defend themselves like that. Like, you know this kid won't say nothing, so you push them or whatever. That's all it is, man. Solid is, man. Solid is, man. If it was really doing a knockout game, you would walk, you would ask you, be like, hey, do you want to fight head up? Let's walk into this alleyway here. You're not doing that, though. That's not your game. That's not even a game. You're just, that's a fight. That's you. And that's stupid. Don't do that. You get hurt. This boy deal is going on too long. My point, I made it. Stop fighting in the streets. God, I hate that. That's the one thing I hate, man. I never go back to, like, I never, I try to never go to like a negative way of thinking or wanting to do something to somebody or something. But man, that's one thing that gets me, bro. That's one thing that gets me. Like you fighting people in the street, you fight, you hit somebody that you, you punch somebody who wasn't ready for it or you know you can beat them. I never fight no one I know I can beat. Every time I fight in the ring, I'm at a disadvantage. And that's fine. I enjoy that. That's, I'm choosing to do this, you know? I'm at a point where I can only fight people that are a certain skill or have a certain amount of fights. I'm in a weird spot with my boxing. <sighs> you think, man, I could, I could talk about, I could say these things over and over for hours and hours, all day, every day. Just stop, man, for real. There's no, there's nothing you're gonna get. You're not in the streets, you're not winning no money. You're not taking home a belt. You're not putting on for your city. You're not giving your kids a positive influence. You're not doing anything. You're just making yourself look like a fool. A lost young fool. An uneducated fool. That's not even willing to help themselves. You don't care about yourself. You want to knock somebody out because you don't care about yourself. You should care about yourself and stop doing that. Because if you cared about yourself... You wouldn't risk your, yourself, your body, your life. Either A, not knocking them out, and now they whoop you and you get killed because you fell and you tripped on some ice or you fell and tripped on the curb and hit your head on the cement and you can't get up. Or, or, or you get caught by the police. There's cameras everywhere. Good luck doing anything now. Good luck. Good luck doing anything. <laughs> anything, bro. Can't, you can't even steal a newspaper nowadays. Oh, uh, you're gonna get caught. You will. Everyone thinks they're the slickest and the smartest at the time when shit's happening. You're cool. You're cool. Oh, I got away with it. I did 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 it. Whoop, whoop. Oh, shit. That wasn't me. Yeah, it was. Because we seen you and 80 people that were standing around with their cell phones. <laughs> World star. They saw you too. So. World star hip hop got your back, right? Nah, no, they got your front, they got your side, they got your close up, they got your scenery, got your teeth. I hope they're brushed. I use two brushes when I brush my that looks bad. I'm gonna stop doing that. Don't don't but you but ooh the bad. All I'm saying, stop knocking people out in the streets. If you wanna do it, come holler at me. I'm 150 pounds. I don't care who you are, heavyweight, in shape, you wanna be living charge. Bring it to the ring, bring it to the cage. There's a lot of places where you can put your rage. I'm 